My name is Dan Hudson. I'm an extension educator with Michigan State University Extension and today we're going to be talking about preside dress nitrate testing. Trying to answer the question, how hard is it really to preside dress nitrate? Alright, it's May 26th. You're all busy. You're trying to get your soybean planting finished up. You're worried about weed control perhaps. You have uh, hay to mow. A lot of things going on this time of year. But this is the time of year when the corn is still less than a foot tall when it's ideal to do your pre-side dress nitrate testing. Now we understand that not everybody has time to run around out in the field with a soil probe, but it's an activity that can pay you back whether you do it or you choose to hire a consultant to do it for you. Pre-side dress nitrate testing, you need a, a soil probe that can go down at least 12 inches into, into the soil Often this time of year the ground is getting a bit hard so you might need to have a, a probe that's stout enough to be able to attach a slide hammer to. Recently we've had enough rain where slide hammers are not necessary and it's uh, much easier, much faster just to push the probe into the ground down to a depth of a foot. To represent an area of about 20 to 40 acres we're going to be taking about uh, 15 to 20 soil cores down to 12 inches. Soil testing for uh, pre-side rust nitrate testing is, is not as comprehensive as testing for phosphate and for uh, soil potassium. So what, we'll, what most farmers will probably choose to do is to find a compromise which would be testing a representative section of a field and then assuming that uh, the soils are not wildly different that the pre rust nitrate test is going to be representative for the rest of that field and fields like it. Um, the goal here is to find out if we're short on nitrogen if we've lost it to leaching or denitrification. The other goal is to find out if we um, can get by without side dressing quite as much nitrogen. So you could either save it, save money on nitrogen fertilizer or you could uh, avoid the problem of having a much lower yield than you would have expected because you unexpectedly run short on nitrogen. The field that we're going to be testing is about 40 acres in size. Pre-side dress nitrate testing ideally would be done fairly comprehensively, but the fact is there's just not enough time to do it. The corn is growing so fast to be able to efficiently side dress, if, it, if side dressing is actually needed, the person needs to be out here uh, testing a representative section of the field and to assume that many more acres are represented by that sample than a typical soil this test. This field received uh, urea prior to planting. It was incorporated. There's no nitrogen stabilizer, and, and this was planted into soybean residue uh, from our, the 2009. Alrighty, that's... Okay, we are looking into the bucket where we have the cores of the soil that are from the sampling, the PSNT testing in this field, and we will break those apart with a stick and put them in a bag and take them up to the lab. Breaking up the cores and what doesn't get broken up well will get broken up well in the lab. This just make, allows us to get a more representative sample from the whole core because the bottom often has a higher clay content and we want to sample all of it uniformly. This is where you do not want to leave your PSNT soil samples. Leaving them in a hot place, especially if they're in a plastic bag, can cause uh, increased microbial activity and nitrogen loss, so it will not represent what your soil nitrate levels truly are. You especially do not want to leave them in your truck if your truck is like this. The soil testing lab is located in the basement of the Plant and Soil Science Building on the campus of Michigan State University. I have some pre rust nitrate test soil samples. I need you to fill out this information sheet. Once the form is filled out and the boxes are filled out and filled with soil in the lab, they will be dried and then they will be the tested. Um, recommendations that you will get are based purely on the nitrate levels that will be measured. And this is the laboratory where the samples will be run by technicians and the lab supervisor, John Dahl. Turnaround time is generally about two days. 